to our friend Daler, the Reverend Dr. H. Daler Hayes, an influential pastor and teacher, as well as the conference minister in Rhode Island for 19 years, died on September 27th in Providence, Rhode Island. He was 82. Daler represented the very best that is the United Church of Christ, said the Reverend Paul Sherry, former president of the UCC. His entire ministry was one of love and justice for all people everywhere. He supported those near and far who needed tender care, and he sought constantly to help build a more just world. He was and will continue to be an inspiration to us all. Daler began the Rhode Island Haiti Task Force 30 years ago after he met leaders of the small Haitian denomination, the Mission Evangelic Baptist Bethesda. He led more than 30 trips to Haiti, building a mission that includes a church, a school and clinic, and all sorts of supportive resources. His last visit to Haiti was January of this year. In retirement, he taught two very popular courses in ethics and Judaism, Christianity, and Islam in the University of Rhode Island philosophy department for 17 years. He also represented the UCC Cornerstone Fund throughout the Northeast US. His commitments to social justice, including marching for civil rights in this country, protesting apartheid and promoting peace with justice in the Middle East, including a meeting one time with Yasser Arafat. Daler was born in Ohio, was a graduate of Harvard College and Harvard Divinity School. He received a Doctor of Divinity uh, degree from Yersanis College. Dela Hayes was a very intelligent and utterly decent man whose ministry extended to everyone regardless of faith, no matter their station or status. And his friendship nurtured me and I shall miss him, said the Rabbi Leslie Gutterman. Iman Farid Ansari of the Rhode Island Council for Muslim Advocacy Advancement remembered that after 9-11, Daler was one of the first Christian leaders to speak on behalf of the Muslim community. He has been a champion of interfaith relations for as long as I've known him, and he was a real role model. Rabbi Wayne M. Franklin worked with him on affordable housing in Rhode Island. He was just tenacious and determined to help people and had a real commitment to translate religious principles into action. Daler's granddaughter, Natalie Hayes Pearl, remembers her grandfather as a radiator of kindness and a courageous nonconformist, a faith-filled family man and a lifelong learner. He was an organizer, not an agonizer, and he was the best lobster haggler in the state of Rhode Island, she says. <laughs> and last but not least, he was a world traveler who discovered early on that our spiritual interconnectedness transcends continents, cultures, and communities. In 2011, on the 50th anniversary of ordination, Dela wrote, it has been a privilege for me to preach, teach, and serve the sacraments in affirmation of God's all-encompassing love revealed in Jesus the Christ and in witness of God's Holy Spirit who inspires faithful living, loving, and serving. Daler is survived by his wife, the Reverend Joy C. Otter, a son, a daughter, two stepsons, and six grandchildren. I will miss him. I do miss him. <laughs>